I'm an independent travel agent, and from January to June this year, we have had two people travel abroad. I'm an airline pilot. I haven't flown for over a year. I run a schools travel company, and we haven't taken a trip abroad since February 2020. We're in debt. We need help from the government. After 16 months stopped in its tracks, the travel industry came to Westminster to demand the government loosen restrictions in time for summer. They said there'd be a risk-based approach. They said that things would open up when the scientific evidence allowed it. It does. Why are we stopped from flying from places where the viral rate is lower than the UK? That makes no sense. And for travel agents who don't get paid until people go on holiday, time is running out. Every time they mention travel, it's aviation and about all this money they've given to aviation and travel agents have not seen any of it. And we are like the engines of the business. We're putting the seats on the planes and we need the help. There were protests in Belfast and Edinburgh too, urging ministers reviewing measures this week to extend the green list of destinations that don't require quarantine on return and remove it altogether for those who've had two doses of vaccine. I'm waiting to hear from the scientists, if you like, the, the experts, the Joint Biosecurity Centre will follow their advice as to how and where and when it's safe to open up and also, of course, listening to them about what it means if you've been double vaccinated and what that could mean to changes in the protocols. The people protesting here are adamant the government needs to take action now, not just to save summer, but to protect the viability of many of these businesses. And there is anger too at the decision to waive quarantine rules for VIPs and some fans attending the finals of Euro 2020. Officials and sponsors will only be allowed to leave their hotels to attend the games at Wembley, but MPs on all sides condemn the move. We can't have any elite, any elite of any kind, being allowed to be exempted from rules which are crippling others. Millions of jobs are being sacrificed and we can't even have the hope of a summer holiday. It's one rule for them and another rule for the rest of us. Ministers will reveal any changes to restrictions in the coming days. If the industry doesn't get back in the air soon, some may be grounded permanently. Paul Kelso, Sky News.